Hello friends, welcome to the TYBSC IT Semester 5 Internet of Things Practicals. Today's practical is number 6 which is IoT based web or app controlled home automation using Raspberry Pi. So here are the project requirements. They are in the form of hardware and software. For hardware we require a Raspberry Pi microcontroller, we need a memory card, we need 5 volt relays, we need AC lamp, we need AC power supply board, we need breadboard and jumper wires. Then in software requirement we need Python IDE to code our home automation program. So here is the program. So you see as usual we require these packages to import. So here one thing to note that we are importing a package rpi.gpio as io. Now this io is the object name that I have used. If you remember in my previous videos I must have told you here this is the user defined object name. So in many programs those which I have demonstrated before I have used rpi.gpio as gpio only and the same object name I have used everywhere into the program statements but here I am showing that this is a user defined object name so you can write here any name so here I am using this gpio as io so wherever I am dealing with the pin pins of raspberry pi or the statement to set those pins I will be using this object name that as io then uh, here we are setting the mode as BCM. So in some programs you might have seen that I have written the statement like gpio.board. So if you are using physical pin specification of Raspberry Pi microcontroller, you can use uh, this gpio or io.board mode. But here in this program I am using BCM pin specification. So I am using here io.bcm. So since I am using this BCM, my pins are also numbered according to BCM. So I will show you this pin numbers 21 and pin numbers 20 are uh, how to find out them onto the physical uh, Raspberry Pi board. Then uh, this is what I have set the pin uh, as out. So this pin number 21 and pin number 20. This both are the output pins for me in this program. So this is that setup. Then we have upgraded it with date time because we are going to use this now object in our program. Uh, since it is working in real time, we need to have this object. Then we have defined one handle. It is almost similar like the telegram uh, bot that we created. Only the thing is that here the commands that we are using are relay on and relay off. So on this commands relay on, this telegram will send a message in the form of the chat ID This this using this access code and uh, then this it will pass the string that relay one on so relay one on means that will send the output to this pin now this relay is my pin number 21 so this will become true that means this pin number 21 will become true that means it will show the output and at, at relay off it will show the pin off so you see that will be setting the pin false so this relay pin will be false so uh, in my circuit setup i have used only one ac lamp for first relay um, if if i have another appliance ac appliance ac power supply appliance i can connect to this relay too so you'll see nowhere i have used this relay to pin uh, but here you can use because you have got this uh, four relay four panel relay so you can actually use four different pins to this uh, four different relays and you can automate four different ac appliances or ac power supply appliances of your home then we have to pass this bot id that is the access code that is given by bot father to us for confidentiality matters i have kept it hidden so this is how the python ideally will look like this ID will provide you uh, the interface where you can write the code. Then this is where the pin specifications can be found. So you see we have used pin number 21 and pin number 20 on BCM. 
so this pin number 20 and pin number 21 on the bcm are actually pin number 38 and pin number 40 so this pin number 40 is right now it is not visible due to this uh, due to this uh, scope of this image but you will see that pin number 20 is pin number 38 in physical and similarly pin number 21 is just below this and that is the pin number 40 of this physical pin specification then here is the circuit setup so what are the pins we need to connect we need the plus vcc so you can connect to any of this positive pins that are given then you can connect the ground pin to any of the ground pins given gpio pins are pin number 20 and pin number 21 according to bcm and pin number 38 and pin number 40 according to board so here if in this program if you have specified it as io dot board instead of bcm you will be using pin number 38 and pin number 40 on the physical pin specification so this is what pin number 38 and pin number 40 you can use on physical board this is what the bot that i have created i will also show you how the bot is to be created in a telegram app so let us see how the program is to be coded and executed on raspberry pi to create your own bot, open Telegram app, search for a bot father. This is the bot father window. Type here slash start and bot father will give you different commands that you can execute on this bot father. So type slash new bot to create your own bot. So here I'm using Dave as the name of my bot. So I'll type div. Now bot will ask me to write a complete name of my bot. So I will be writing div underscore bot. But this name is already existing. So I'm using another name. After giving another name to my new bot, the bot father will give me the access code to use this bot. This access code needs to be confidential for security matters. So let us talk about the circuit setup. We need this AC supply board. We need a Raspberry Pi. We need a relay. Now this is array of relays. You can also use a single array, sorry, single relay like this. These are four relays connected together on one panel. Then you need a breadboard. Even if you don't have breadboard, you can use this Raspberry Pi pins directly to connect the pins of relay. Then you need a holder to hold this AC lamp. And you need this pin. So to start with, power on your AC board then connect this here then you can do this assembly so this AC lamp you can connect it to the holder you can put into this holder and connect it here like this the next step is to connect this wires to the relay now this relay comes with three connections so this you can connect either this to the positive or negative this middle one will always be there as a neutral and so you can connect your positive negative to this or this or this or this so every three of these connections are for one relay so this three are for this relay the next three are for the second, next three are for this and this are for this. So you can use first two connections to connect one in positive and one in neutral. So to connect that, first of all you need to loose up these screws. So you can simply do it this way just to loosen them. Then, 
to connect these pins you can insert them like this and now tighten the the screws using the screwdriver so that this assembly will remain fixed so you see now they will not come out they will remain fixed now the next is uh, since I am using this T connector so that I should not harm this raspberry pi pins so I will be using this connector these are the 40 pins port that I can use here the next is to connect this relay with the breadboard or with the raspberry pi you need this female to male jumper wires if you don't have breadboard you can directly use female to female jumper wires so that you can insert the wire in this pins and the raspberry pins raspberry pi pins directly so since i'm using breadboard i will be using female side of this jumper wires to insert into the relay and this male jumper wire part I'll insert into this breadboard so this relay have the connections like the first pin is ground the last pin is plus VCC and this INT1, INT2, INT3 and INT4 are the inputs for each of these relay so this is my first relay so INT1 will activate this relay Two will activate this relay three and four likewise so since right now I'm using only one connection you can see that I am using only the only first relay so I need to insert only in first pin but I will also in, use uh, I will also show that uh, using second input how you can set the relays on so if the relay is going to on these LEDs are also uh, set on and off so to this second relay you can use any other IC uh, appliances like you can connect fan AC fan also the, to this you can connect a tube light or you can connect uh, to this LED any other electrical appliance that works on AC and that you want to bring into the home automation so today we are doing a circuit setup for home automation so to this relay you can connect this red color to the positive this black color or a gray color to the ground now one of the input is input one so i'm using green for that now here you need not to follow any color convention for negative that is for ground and plus vcc you can follow the color convention so here two inputs are there with this purple color and green color pins this is a positive connection and this is a ground connection so how to connect it on a breadboard so on a breadboard you see there is a there are positive pins like 3 volt 5 volt 5 volt there are some ground pins like this is ground pin this is ground pin this is ground pin so a lot of ground pins are there you can find all of them uh, using gpio read all command so you, here I'm using plus 5 voltage to connect this plus VCC line. Then this ground I'm connecting to any of this ground pin which are given. So here I have connected this positive and ground. Now my first input is in 20, uh, according to the program I have used 20th pin and 21st pin for the output or the input will be passed on through these pins to the relay so one of the pin I'm using 20th pin number and to other I'm using 21 so this is on VCM you see 
on BCM it is marked as 20 and 21 but on physical pin specification it is 38th pin and this is 40th pin so you need to know which pin specification you are using in a program and according to that you can connect your circuit so this is the circuit setup for uh, home automation so here I need the VNC viewer to connect my Raspberry Pi with laptop screen before that I need to know what is the IP address of my Raspberry Pi so I will use advanced IP scanner advanced IP scanner will scan different devices which are connected with IP address to the LAN network which I am using so currently I am using a LAN network on which there are some devices connected so this is the RT LAN Wi-Fi LAN that I am using to which my Raspberry Pi is also connected so the IP address of my Raspberry Pi is this 192.168.43.165 so here I need a VNC viewer in VNC viewer I need to connect this Raspberry Pi using new connection then here I will write 192.168 0.43.165 and here I can give any identifier so uh, any friendly identifier you can write so here I'm writing a name so this is what the access point that we have created just double click on it and then it will ask you for username and password so by default username is pi and the password is raspberry in small letters so type it so you see here my raspberry pi is also connected to the same lan network so that is the wi-fi that i am using to connect my laptop to the network as well as the raspberry pi to the network so here the raspberry pi screen is there on my laptop screen now here i need to open the Python ID where I can insert oh, sorry I can write my code so if you are going to write it you need a new file so you can click on file and you can click on new file which will give you the editor to write a new file since I'm not going to waste my time in writing I will directly use my program that I've already written so this is the home automation program that I'm using it says that we have used for telegram bot communication with raspberry pi so you can prefer that video also before this so you need to execute all those dependencies using command prompt now click on run and click on run module so it will execute the code but you see here there is some error set that teleport module cannot be searched so if you are encountered with this problem uh, this is probably because you are using this python 3 id so just close this and go to the command prompt and in a command prompt type idle so this idle mode will take you to the lower version of python so you see this is python 2.7 here you can open the same program and from here you can execute the code so you see the same code is executed here now you can click on run module and now it is listening to us so you see you should get this message as we have said the name of our bot is Dave underscore p underscore bot so to give the commands now i'm using my mobile phone and i'm using a telegram app on my mobile phone so i'm using a dave bot that i have used to create this or used to create the connection to the raspberry pi and telegram so now i'm using the command relay on so it will set the relay on so you see that relay on and relay off commands will set the relay on and off accordingly so this message will be displayed 
on the screen as well as it will also be show it will also show the output on circuit so i will be showing you how it shows the output on circuit as well so here i'm showing the output on the circuit setup so click on run module the module is listening to you now i am using the telegram bot dave that we have created and here i'll type slash relay on so this will put on my ac bulb on by using slash relay off this will put off the ac bulb note that your mobile phone and raspberry pi need not to be on the same network that means by sitting at office you can control this raspberry pi based home automation thank you for watching this video